This is the second video explaining how to submit flights for processing using the Advocate Consulting online tool. In this video, I have put some roadblocks up ahead for us to demonstrate ways that you can clear errors and warnings that arise during the log submission process. As covered in the first video, log submission starts at the aircraft screen by clicking the Submit Flights button. If there is already an existing log period for this plane, then the start date of your new log period will default to the day after the end date of the prior period. In this case, this is the first log period for the plane, and so I will manually enter the start date to give me a calendar year 2014 period. Create the period, and then proceed with log submission by clicking the Mark Final button. In this example, some of the flights are still in a draft state and they need to be marked as final before the flight log can be submitted. So I'll go ahead and mark the first flight as final, click on the second flight, and you can see I get an error, which tells me that either the primary purpose of the flight on the log or the activity at stop of a passenger on the log is still coded as TBD, and it needs to be changed in order for the flight to be marked final. So I'll edit the flight by clicking on the date of the flight. And I can see that in this case, the primary purpose of the flight is business. But there's a passenger who is an activity at stop of TBD to be determined. I'll go ahead and edit that. Save it. And then continue with flight submission. Now I'll try again to mark it final. And it works without a problem. I'll try the next one. And I get the same error. Again, I can edit it by clicking on the date. And I can see here, it's the primary purpose of the flight that's TBD. So I'll go ahead and edit that. Change it to business. Save. Continue with flight submission. Mark it final. And now that all of my flights have been marked final, I'm taken to the errors and warnings screen. Here, the computer has gone through all the flights and identified issues that need to be brought to the user's attention. There are two types of issues that the computer recognizes. Warnings that the user needs to at least take a look at. It might pose a problem, it might not. The user has the ability to ignore the warnings. And errors. You don't have the ability to ignore an error if one is present because an error is going to truly block the computation of your flight log results. Over here, the yellow triangle icon indicates that the flight has a warning, whereas the red bug error indicates, uh, indicates that the flight has an error. So the first flight, no, another thing to mention, is that you can click on each flight, highlighting that flight, and causing the pane on the right to tell you the errors and warnings associated with that particular flight. Starting at the first flight, I have a warning of type W4, and that warning code is useful if you want to contact us for assistance and you can easily communicate what problem you're being presented with. The description is, the flight primary purpose is not entertainment, but the description contains entertainment-related words, please verify. The program has been preloaded with some mistaken codings that we've seen in the past that are often in error and should be brought to people's attention. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what this is. And it tells me that the reason for flight is a golf game, the primary purpose is business, and the activity at stop is business. Now, this could be um, correct, depending on what what the scenario was, but we'll say that here this was a miscoding. And the flight should have been personal entertainment, both to the flight and to the passenger. Save it and continue with flight log submission. Now that warning has disappeared because the computer now finds no issues with that flight. Looking through the next warnings, you'll find that they deal with the ordering of flights on the flight log. Here, the airport where this flight starts is not where the prior flight landed. Here, there's a mismatch on both sides, as well as here, here, here.
here, and then here the problem is with the ending of the prior flight and the taking off of this flight. And I'm going to show you an easy way to resolve these by going to the flight logs screen. I'm going to filter this to show only the aircraft that we're submitting here because this is a multi-aircraft account. And you can see that the icons showing errors and warnings that were present in the log submission screen are also present here. We'll take a look at what happened. Here the plane flew to Nashville, took off from Nashville, landed in Tucson, and then from Tucson took off from Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix. So how did it get from Tucson to Phoenix? There there's a flight mismatch. Flew from Phoenix to Naples and then after landing in Naples took off from Tucson. Again there's a flight mismatch. So we can decode what's happening here and see that if this second flight on 10-6 were the first flight on 10-6, then everything would, would match. So we'll go ahead and click this button to reverse the order of the flights. And when I do that, you'll see this flight with the one passenger move up to the top. And there it did. Okay, now Tucson, Tucson, Phoenix, Phoenix, Naples, Naples, Tucson, Naples. Aha, here we have another mismatch. This 1020 flight is out of order and it should come before the 1018 flight. And we'll say in this example that I've gone back to my logbook and verified that the date here was entered wrong and instead of 1020, I should edit it to 1016. Save it. And by doing that, I should have cleared the errors and warnings. And I'll continue with flight log submission. The computer rechecks everything, finds that all of the errors and warnings are cleared, and the log has been submitted. You can see the state of all the flights has now been changed to submitted. And I can click Done and return to the aircraft screen, and Advocate will be alerted that the flights have been submitted for processing. One quick thing to note, in correcting errors and warnings from the flight log screen, you're able to see the icons for the, the, the red bug and the yellow triangle, but in order to keep the application moving fairly quickly, the system does not recheck all of the errors and warnings with every click that you make. Instead, it only rechecks when you return to the flight submission screen. Um, and so you might find that as you change the orders and resolve those problems, the icons are still there. That doesn't mean that there's still a problem. It's just that the computer, it, it takes some energy and time for the computer to recheck and to not slow down the user interface experience. It only checks when you return to the submission screen, not when you click on the flight log screen. As always, if you have any issues, feel free to contact us at any time. Um, we want to make sure that your flight log process is smooth and efficient, um, and we hope that this works well for you.